Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be like a, a what I drink in a day video. I realize I haven't done one of those in quite a while. And, and I'm taking the day off today, so it should be marginally <laughs> more interesting than like a what I drink in the day when I'm working. It's actually kind of, I'm getting a late start because well, because I'm not really in a rush, but also because I had to charge my camera battery. But I'm about to make a smoothie. And you're like, but what does this have to do with tea? And well, I'm gonna put matcha in it. <laughs> I've been doing that uh, for the past week or so. And it's been, it's been a really nice start to my day. So let's get blending. I'm not actually this short, I'm like crouching down and it's like killing my legs, but there we have it. I'm pretty low key, no frills when it comes to making any kind of food and smoothie. I just use whatever fruit is in my fridge. So like the people that do like those peanut butter jelly matcha smoothies or like the apple pie something rather, that's not me. I'm still pretty obsessed with it. Especially with the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. It's really good. And I don't put juice in this because I don't need that extra sugar. But uh, the matcha that I used was the premium Japanese matcha from a uh, Japanese green tea company. This was sent to me for free a while back. It's a matcha that's like on the more savory spectrum. So that it's, there's like, it's definitely creamier. There's a lot of nutty notes. Um, a lot of like seaweedy type of aromas while I like it. I'm pretty basic when it comes to matcha. So like I am I want it to taste green or I want it to be flavored. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I've never, I haven't had this much free time in a really, really long time. After my delicious smoothie and like 15 minutes of Final Fantasy 15, I am now upstairs in my workspace waiting for my really slow computer to start up. The plan is to like finish editing and start uploading and to keep me company. I'm gonna be sipping some milk oolong from Esthete Tea. It's actually like really freezing this morning, like 19 degrees, but spring is in the air already. We're supposed to hop up to 50 degrees in two days and the sun is just like in full force. It is just so beautiful outside. And around this time of year, like winter into spring, I start shifting away from like my favorite black teas and I do start reaching for oolongs and green teas more often. And um, I just tried the milk oolong from Aesthetic Tea a couple days ago. I was actually looking for a tea at Guan Yin, but uh, could not find, could not find my stash of it. This was, more than a, a satisfactory alternative. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This, it just smells, it smells so milky. So milky and so creamy. There's something in here that almost smells like, like sweet candy. I'm so excited for this. Mm. It is sweet and floral and there's just like this nice milky scent coming through that kind of reminds me of like sticky rice almost. This is like a cozy green oolong. I mean obviously there's like the rock oolongs and like the the roasted, the heavily roasted oolongs or the charcoal oolongs that are cozy but for like a green oolong this one is really cozy because of that warm milky creamy aroma that comes through naturally in this tea. Like, that just kind of amazes me. Milk oolong is so unique. Mm. That first infusion is so milky and so creamy. It reminds me of, like, lychee and sticky rice. But like, the kind of sticky rice that's maybe in like sweetened condensed milk. Like it's not like a savory sticky rice, it's it's a sweeter sticky rice. The milkiness kind of like fades 
after that first infusion and uh, some more floral notes become more present. This is like, this is like early springtime in a cup. I am so happy. And of course, I am using my new tea wear. I'm obsessed with this guy one. The pour in this is just beautiful. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start editing. Just kidding. It's still, still spinning. But before we get into it, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and smash that subscription button so you know when I upload. We like to talk about tea here. Okay, I know this is not tea, but I'm like super proud of the lunch that I made right now. Marjorie over at Knitting Opera is always eating these like rice paper spring roll things and they look delicious every single time she posts about them. And uh, I had to try them for myself, so I, I made some. They look really ugly, but hopefully they are delicious. It really surprises me how quickly, <laughs> how quickly six hours of alone time just like flies, flies past you. So, um, what I think I would like to do now is, I just finished up my delicious spring rolls and they were super duper addictive. Like the texture of that rice paper is just like so satisfying. Kind of chewy, chewy, gummy. I'm like in love with it though. But I think what I'm gonna do is rummage around in this uh, delightful tea chest. This was sent to me back in like December from Zen Earth Inspired. And I, it holds, it holds a lot of my geeky teas. I believe it is bamboo wood. And on the inside there are, let's see if I can, on the inside, there are these like wooden slabs. Uh, so you can kind of customize the, the size of these. You can make them smaller. There's like two more of these that you can put in and uh, make these like the size of tea bags. I have some tea and absinthe blends in here as well as some happy turtle tea. And you know what? I feel like I'm really jonesing for a dessert blend right now because I haven't had a dessert blend today. I, 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 yeah, no, I haven't. What did I drink today? I think what I'm gonna be sipping is Forged from the Stars. And this is a blend inspired by Thor slash the Avengers. And this is a blend of black tea, natural chocolate flavor, dark chocolate chips, cocoa nibs, chicory root, macadamia nuts, cocoa, and blue corn flowers. I'm not like super into Marvel. I think I've seen most of the movies, but I don't think I like geek out over Marvel as much as some other folks do. But we are, we are watching WandaVision on Disney Plus and we're like kind of obsessed with it. I quite like this. I think it's, I think it's a fairly balanced flavored blend. Like the tea, you can still taste the tea. It's not like, it's not overtly chocolatey. There are some more bittersweet cocoa notes. I was kind of questioning the purpose of the macadamia nuts, but there actually is like a really mild nutty flavor in this tea. I mean, it almost seems like Happy Turtle Tea was going for like that chocolate, chocolate chip, and macadamia nut cookie. You know what I'm talking about? I have no idea what that has to do with Thor, but it's a delicious blend. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that hit the spot. <laughs> I, I love my dessert blends. I'm just sitting here. I'm showing you the clean portion of my living room, but I'm just sitting here playing some Final Fantasy 15 and drinking some tea. I might be sipping another geeky blend right now <laughs> since I'm playing video games today. I thought I would also reach for a blend that was inspired by RPGs. So I am currently sipping Sorry, Fargo's hitting his food dish right now. But I am sipping Bard's blend right now, and this is a blend from Friday Tea. And she has an entire collection based on the RPG archetype, and that's role-playing game archetype, which is technically what I'm playing, uh, Final Fantasy, the Final Fantasy franchise. Those are, those are RPG games. They're probably my my favorite class of game. The Bard's Blend is a blend of black tea, ginger, vanilla flavoring, and sugar. And it's like colored sugar, so it's like pink and blue, it looks like. I didn't notice it adding any sweetness. I had to, I ended up adding a little bit of honey. But otherwise, it's really just sort of a ginger flavored black tea with just like 
the slightest hint of something sweet and creamy. It's definitely like a good wintertime tea. And it's really interesting uh, because Friday, the blender for Friday's tea, she has the form of synesthesia where words taste, where, where words have taste. That is what she uses to create her blends, especially her, her fandom blends. So it's interesting to see how she interprets, I guess what the word bard tastes like or like the words associated with bard. I never play bard type characters. Um, and I'm not so sure that I personally would associate the flavor of ginger with a bard, but it's still a really nice cup of tea. I'm like trying to get in as much as I possibly can before I go pick up Oliver. Alright YouTube, last tea of the day. I'm like not even in the center of the whatever. It doesn't even matter. It's a little bit colder outside than I anticipated, but Oliver and I still enjoyed our walk home. I am sipping. One of my favorite David's tea blends, um, it is their snow day blend. It is a seasonal blend, so you likely cannot get it right now. It's it's peppermint forward with like this creamy bittersweet chocolate flavor and it, it tastes like actual chocolate and then like it's just there's a little creamy element from the white chocolate pieces like I swear this tastes like a liquid guilt-free York peppermint patty or like a box of junior mints I could go for either one of those right now so yeah this is the final tea of the day this snow day blend from David's tea I love this blend. I kind of am surprised how much I love this blend. So there you have it, all of the teas that I drink in a day. But now I'd love to hear from you folks. Let me know in the comments below what teas you've been reaching for lately. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!